Now, the Supreme Court has, in a unanimous decision, merged the two cases against the EC's voter registration exercise. The court has also indefinitely adjourned its judgment in the case filed by the NDC, which was slated for June 23. This follows an application filed by Deputy Attorney General Goffred Yabuadame, who said the two cases arise substantially from the same set of facts. Both cases raise issues regarding the EC's decision to compile a new register and which document should be used for the registration. Court correspondent Joseph Akable joins us via Zoom now. Uh, for more, Joseph, tell us about the AG's argument in support of this merger. And so Godfrey Dami makes the point that uh, the first case, uh, which was filed by the NDC, is asking that the voters' ID uh, be used as a proof of citizenship for persons who want to get onto the electoral roll. He also makes the point that that same uh, case is also had initially raised issues about the decision of the EC to compile the register in the first place. And that is something that the second case is asking the courts to grant. The second case, again, goes a step further to make the point that uh, the EC should be stopped from compiling a register, aside from the fact that they feel that a birth certificate should also be used as a source document to acquire the voter's ID card. And so uh, the deputy AG says the fact Well, we apologize there. We seem to have a little issue with the connection to Joseph Akable, our court correspondent. Hopefully, he's able to join us again to, to finish up with a question about uh, an understanding uh, of you know, this request. The courts also gave some orders that affected the judgment it was supposed to deliver on June 23. Joseph will be back, hopefully, to give us more on that. But let's turn our attention to the Asante Achim North constituency. Uh, in a statement that's been issued, the Asante Achim North constituency, there are some members of the MPP have filed a suit against the party over what they term as tampered photo album. They are seeking to place an injunction on the party's primaries in the constituency. They say the executives of the party and the Electoral Commission have duly been served. They've issued a statement, and I'm going to just read uh, parts of that statement to you, uh, which says the list of 145 delegates and 61 polling stations, mostly from Agogo, whose names have been unlawfully and fraudulently deleted from the original photo album of the Asante Achim North constituency, have successfully filed a suit and injunction against using the tampered and manipulated photo album for the primaries tomorrow. The party and EC have both been duly served all processes from the court. Indeed, information coming from the party indicates that it has decided to respect the fact that there is a pending matter in court. It will therefore not run the election in the constituency. So no election in the Asante Akim North constituency because of what is being alleged as a tampered photo album. There is a case pending in court. In view of that, the party has decided not to hold any elections tomorrow. Joseph Akable is back with us. Let's finish off that conversation. Joseph? Yes, and so the, the deputy AG says the two cases, because they are similar, it's important that the court deals with both at the same time. And so he asks that the court merges the two cases, and this would ensure that by uh, June 30, when the AC decides to carry out the exercise, at least if the court is minded to stop the Electoral Commission, then they will not carry out the exercise. If they are minded to allow them to carry out the exercise, then they should know uh, which documents they should be using for the exercise. Joseph, let's talk about... Uh, the orders, uh, some orders that affected the judgment that it was supposed to deliver on June 23. And so the first is that the uh, judgment that was supposed to come out on June 23 has been adjourned indefinitely. Uh, the second relates to the fact that the, Mr. Tishibansin, who has filed this case, has been given Monday uh, to file a statement of case. Uh, the Attorney General's office and uh, that of the Electoral Commission have the opportunity to respond to this on uh, June 23. Then on June 24, all parties are to come back in court to have the oral arguments take place. And we understand that the NDC is not going to file any documents because it says uh, its initial issue that it raises with regards to the compilation of the new register and abandon it already. So it will just sit and watch. But they will have the opportunity to be heard if they want to orally make any input. Then after June 24, we understand the court will fix a short date, uh, hopefully before June 30, to deliver its judgment on the two cases. Great. Joseph Akable, uh, there he's our court correspondent.